They came from across South Africa and neighboring countries to welcome a new king. Zulu warriors in their thousands to witness the first coronation of a Zulu king in more than 50 years and pledge allegiance to King Missy Zulu Kazuelitini, the ninth king of the Zulu nation, the largest ethnic group in South Africa. In what's known as the Sacred Kraal, Missy Zulu is presented to his ancestors, the kings who came before him. He's accompanied by the Prime Minister of the Zulu Nation and his uncle, Prince Mongosutu Butelezi, seen as an endorsement. Much of the ceremony that follows is shrouded in secrecy, including traditions that go back generations not meant for the public eye or allowed to be filmed. The public is only allowed to see certain rituals. We are praying to the Zulu ancestors where they sleep today. We are asking them to protect our new king. We are also here to pray that God may grant him wisdom. Rise, king, we welcome you now. The coronation has not been without controversy. Two other family members say they are the rightful heirs and took the matter to court to stop the ceremony but failed. But other family members attended to support the new monarch. One of them reminding the king his role is to serve the nation. Outside the main ceremony, throngs of people gathered. This is so important to us to know our king and our culture, you know, things like that, so that you can know our background, everything about us. I'm here to celebrate my King Mrs. Zulu, who is being crowned today as the new king. I'm so happy to be here. Everyone is happy and it's a beautiful day. Even as the new king departs, Amabutu or Zulu warriors continue to sing his praise and display their loyalty to him. They say they're willing to defend him at any cost. But many others here are hoping the new king, just like his father, will be a unifying figure for the Zulu nation. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Nongoma, South Africa.